Welcome back to Engineering Acoustics. Hi, this is Professor Ryan Harn. In this video, we'll learn how the binaural hearing mechanisms can be reproduced for playback through headphones and loudspeakers. So let's get started. Methods to process spatial audio are very different depending on whether listeners are wearing headphones or in a room with loudspeakers. So for certain applications, engineers might have a very good understanding of whether listeners use headphones or speakers. So for instance, if listeners are in a theater, they're very likely projected the audio through speakers. But if listeners are playing a game through a computer system, nowadays it's likely those users are wearing headphones. A simple way to create spatial audio for headphone listeners is to simply capture binaural signals through head-mounted microphones. Then those signals are played back through stereo headphones because the signals approximate the sounds that was originally heard by the ears. Because every person's HRTFs are different, the sensation of live audio will vary from one subject to the next, but it's nevertheless quite convincing. You are now listening to binaural recorded audio. Two microphones placed in his head will pick up sound exactly as you would hear it were I walking around you. So, where I get really close, you might hear that I'm right up next to your left ear. And as I move around, you might hear that the tones, the timbres, and other nuances of how I'm speaking sound differently as I move around. Would you like a drink? Now, the binaural recording method is intended for playback with headphones, so the dummy head records the audio that's heard, and that's ultimately played back to the headset and headphones by the user, creating a very spatial and realistic effect. But if the binaural recording is directly played back by speakers, something else will happen. Signals not originally heard by the ears are now heard. Take for instance the left speaker. It is, of course, playing to the left ear, but the right ear hears it and the right speaker naturally delivers sound to the right ear, but also to the left. Subjects would remark that the stereo effect is largely lost. This is the phenomena of crosstalk. We'll learn more about this soon. The relationship between the source location and the result that is actually heard is captured in the HRTFs, the header-related transfer functions. And we can use HRTFs to create a very spatial ambiance or for stereo or surround playback. Let's use, for instance, the Toy Story Pixar movie. In a recording studio, Tim Allen would have voiced for Buzz Lightyear, whereas Tom Hanks was recording mono audio for Woody. To create the spatial effect for this scene, we see that Buzz Lightyear is slightly off-center to the left, Woody is slightly more off-center for the listener to the right. So for Tim Allen's mono recording, this would have been transmitted to an HRTF with approximately a minus 8 degrees azimuthal angle dependence. That would have been pumped then to the left speaker and to the right speaker. For Tom Hanks, that location of Woody is a slightly more off-center than Buzz and to the opposite side of center. So an HRTF of positive 11 degrees, for instance, might have been used for Tom Hanks's voiceover, and that would have been transmitted to the left speaker and to the right since HRTFs are a stereo computation for the left and right ears. But for live recordings, boom microphones would be used to capture mono speech from the person who's precisely saying it, so a separate channel occurs for that speaker. For ambient noise, array or binaural microphones might be used to capture the actual environmental sounds. These would then be mixed back with the speech to create a very surround and spatial effect. To summarize what we've learned, 
Binaural recordings create a sense of live presence for listeners, whether, whether that sound is played back through headphones or loudspeakers, although for headphones, the effect is much more realistic. Head-related transfer functions, the HRTFs, are used to reproduce realistic spatial audio from controlled recorded signals. And when playing back binaural recordings on loudspeakers, crosstalk occurs due to the additional paths sound can travel to reach our listeners' ears. That's it for this video. We've seen that when using binaural playback through loudspeakers, a concern called crosstalk occurs. In the next video, we'll learn how to cancel crosstalk.